One of the most confusing things that I ran into my freshman year at the University of Tampa was the meal plans. I was like, what does each meal plan mean? What's the difference between Spartan dollars and UT dollars? So in this video, I'm gonna show you and tell you all about the meal plans. And I hope this clears up some confusion for you. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jared, welcome back to my channel. It is currently August 3rd. And so that means at the time of this, not only is school coming up, but I am getting my wisdom teeth out Thursday, 8.45 AM. No, but seriously, the semester is fast approaching, which is, which is really crazy. And movie day is coming up soon. So if you haven't subscribed already and you're watching this, please do so so you can see more UT specific videos and more college videos. I'll be making a whole move-in vlog, so you'll want to be here to see that. All right, so at UT, if you're a resident living on campus, you have four options for a meal plan. You have the carte blanche, which is unlimited. You have the favorite, which is 15 meals a week. You have ultimate, which is 12 meals a week. And you have the express, which is seven meals a week. Now with the carte blanche meal plan, I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. It's unlimited, but I feel like there's a little asterisk because it's unlimited only at the cafeteria, the dining hall. So on campus, there's a bunch of different dining options. There's like the cafeteria, there's Chick-fil-A, there's Dairy Queen, Salsa Rico, which is like uh, a Chipotle. They also have Pandini's, which is like pizza and pasta. They have all different options, but with the unlimited meal plan, which you'll see if you're living on campus, it is only for the dining hall, the cafeteria, the main cafeteria, which is a buffet style. But with that unlimited meal plan, they do give you three bonus meal swipes to use each week at any of the other locations. So if you wanted to, I don't know, say on Monday after class, you wanted to get Dairy Queen, you can go swipe and get Dairy Queen, but that means you only have two left at the different locations. So let's say Thursday, then you're like, oh man, I'm really craving a burrito, which I'm always craving a burrito. You can go swipe at Salsa Rico, then you have one left till the end of the week because the meal plans reset on Saturday morning. So hopefully that makes sense. So with the carte blanche, the unlimited meal plan, you have unlimited meals all week, every week at the cafeteria only. With the favorite meal plan, I think it's 15 meals a week. That means you get 15 meals every week, they reset and you can use those anywhere. So it doesn't just have to be at the cafeteria. If you wanted to get Dairy Queen three days, or not three days, three times a day, you can't, but you can only have 15 meals a week. What's nice about those, like the 15 meal plan, the 12 meal plan and the seven is that you have the flexibility to eat anywhere you want, but you can only eat a certain amount of times each week. You know what I mean? 15 meals a week is basically two meals a day plus one extra. The same goes with the 12 meal plan and the seven. But the thing with the seven meal plan, the express meal plan is that you can only select that meal plan option if you live in a dorm with a kitchen in the actual dorm room. So that applies to the Palm Apartments, Urso, Straz, that applies to the RAs because they have kitchens. I'm missing a few other ones. Those are the ones I know off the top of my head, but the apartment dorms, you can have the seven meal plan only. Well, sorry, not only the seven one, but that's the only place where you could select the seven meal plan. In my opinion, I think dining makes it kind of confusing. They say like you have 15 meal exchanges a week. So you use an exchange to get a swipe or you use a swipe to get an exchange for a combo meal. And it's, it's basically what you see is how many you have. So 15, you get 15 meals a week. Ends on Friday night and then Saturday morning it resets and you start your 15 over again. The school suggests this, but if you're a student athlete, they really recommend you get the unlimited one because you'll most likely eat at least three times a week and three times seven is 21. So my freshman year, I had the unlimited meal plan because I really enjoyed the dining hall. Some people are like, man, the dining hall, the cafeteria, yeah. But like, if you change up and have variety of your meals, like make sure you don't just get the same food every single meal, then I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoyed it. They had grilled chicken breast every day or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then they had grilled steak Tuesday, Thursdays, and it was just absolutely beautiful. So I loved the unlimited meal plan my freshman year. Then my sophomore year, I switched to the 15 meal plan because I wanted more flexibility. I was like, let me try this out. I want to see how I like it. And so I went to the 15 and I was able to just like grab Salsa Rico on the go. And I was able to eat more burritos throughout the week, which I loved, but I found myself kind of like really lazy. And I would just, I wasn't forced to just go to the cafeteria and sit down. I would grab like Chick-fil-A and just go back to my room and sit. A couple of times I would have like Chick-fil-A twice a day and it did not feel good for my body. I wouldn't say there's like necessarily a healthy option, but you can eat healthy with all the options. The dining hall, the cafeteria op offers a lot of fruits. You can make salads, you can make your own wraps and sandwiches and everything. There's a lot of healthy options there, but then they also have healthy options outside of the cafeteria. So they have this place called Fresh Creations, which is a build your own salad or build your own bowl kind of place. And that was really good. And so something else that the school gives you as part of your meal plans are Spartan dollars. You may see Spartan dollars, you may see UT dollars. They're not the same thing. And that really confused me. So Spartan dollars are are automatically given to you with your meal plan. So if you 
have the uh, if you have the carte blanche the unlimited meal plan you get $75 for the whole semester with the favorite the 15 you get 100 and with the other ones so forth so I think it's like 125 for the 12 and it's 150 maybe for the express i'm not sure i'm not exactly entirely sure but you can find that dining.ut.edu so basically spartan dollars are money basically it's money given to you with your meal plan and they can be used at like starbucks it can be used at other places and they're used as money so you don't have to use your own money to buy starbucks drinks which is really nice but you do have only a limited amount of Spartan dollars for the whole semester with your meal plan. So I also forgot to mention that with Spartan dollars, they expire at the end of the semester. They do not roll over. So if you don't use all of your Spartan dollars, then that stinks and you can't get that money that you didn't use for the next semester. So Spartan dollars are given to you with the meal plans, but UT dollars are for basically like the commuters. They, they're not just for commuters. You could buy one if you have a meal plan, if you live on campus, but UT dollars are not the same and they roll over onto the next semester if you have some left over, but you have to buy those yourself. You have to go in online and purchase UT dollars. My freshman year, I went to Starbucks and I was like, hi, I wanna, I don't know, ice caramel macchiato, please. And then they're like, oh, how are you paying? And I said, UT dollars. And so I swiped and they're like, sorry, you don't have any more UT dollars. And I was like, this is, I didn't, I don't, what? I, don't, I never used any UT dollars, but then I realized that Spartan dollars and UT dollars are not the same thing. This is for specifically commuters, but they do offer, I think, a commuter meal plan block option. And I looked at it briefly and it's like you can get 50 meals for the semester, 25 meals for the semester, but those can only be used at the dining hall or panache. But unfortunately with those block meal plans, they do expire at the end of the semester. But I've never heard of anybody who had the block meal plan. All I've heard is commuters having, and people living off campus having the UT dollars. They just buy the UT dollars because those can be used at anywhere. Those UT dollars can be used at Salsa Rico, Starbucks, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, The Grill, anything, any place. Something that's really nice about the meal plans is that even if you've picked a meal plan already and you realize, dang, I don't want to eat only 15 meals a week. I eat a lot more than that. You can switch your meal plan up to to three weeks after classes start which is really nice so you can move in and just see how your routine is and if you realize man i'm eating a lot more or i'm eating a lot less you can change your meal plan i forgot to mention that in order to change your meal plan you have to go into residence life it's on the my U tampa octa page you just click it you go in and there's a form at the bottom that'll say application to change meal plan. And you can do that the first three weeks. I'm probably gonna switch back to the unlimited. Actually, I don't know. I think I might switch back to the unlimited just so that I have more discipline to eat at the cafeteria and just spend more time there. But honestly, if you have a jam packed schedule and you only have time in between classes to grab food, then I feel like one of the other meal plans would be good. So like the 15. I hope this cleared up any confusion you may have had about the meal plans because I know my freshman year, I was confused and I wish there was a video I could watch to explain it to me. Go check out this playlist to see more University of Tampa videos like what to expect, what to expect your first week, what to bring, and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and thanks for doing life with all of us here at this channel.